Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We have episode 5 of my Australia series here today. We're going to be declaring war upon the Shanghai Pact and hopefully we can be successful here today. It's another flashpoint in the series. It's make or break. All our hard work comes to this in 2010. Can we beat them here today? Hopefully we can. So, if you'd like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. It's all come to this. We've united the majority of Southeast Asia. We've got well over 100 divisions on the border. We've got Thai and Indonesian allies with us. We currently have 100 ships at our disposal. And we've got a vast air force as well. We've put in the hard work. Hopefully it's enough. We're currently hemorrhaging money at the moment. But it's not going to matter because we have a huge war chest still. We have an abundance of resources which we're trading. But I'm going to negotiate with the Saudis to get more fuel. Oh, okay. Japan abandons defensive principles. Okay. I wonder if they will help us out in this one. Uh, stuff's going still crazy over here it, with the Axis of Resistance and uh, Peninsula Sword. It looks like the House of Romanov is back. So it looks like some countries are going the monarchy route for whatever reason. And it's complete. The justification against them. Our fuel is at max capacity. Our trade is perfect. Um, once we war deck them, we probably will have a trade issue but we also will be able to hamper them now they do have some territory down in the south but that's something to keep an eye on but here we go it's make or break have we done enough oh god so they have yeah now it's a little bit more sharp it was 50 to 100 in the last episode now they got closer to 80 to 100 so slightly more we'll move the navy into the region here off the coast and hopefully, our Indonesian and Thai allies will be able to help us out as well. Thankfully, we've got a huge southern border against them. If we can get air supremacy, that would be fantastic. So, okay. So, there's been a little bit of a conflict prior. Taipei's lost 150. We maintain air supremacy in South Indochina under a united Thailand, which are our puppets. Oh god. Okay, so if things continue, our air force will run out of planes compared to theirs. We just need to push forward. Like, when you see that, oh god, the navy's getting engaged as well. Oh no, they sunk a bunch, but we are still maintaining naval supremacy. We do have upgraded ships, but we probably need to upgrade some of these smaller buffs like radar and missile effectiveness. Okay, so we are winning on some bubbles, but we've also been pushed in some others. We've lost a K, but now they've ballooned a bit. We're taking some tiles here and there. I still think we run the Air Force, even though if a lot of them are going to get essentially shot down. Uh, Japan won't come in and help. No, I'm just curious, more or less. Because we're distracting their fighters from... And close air support and bombers are actually focusing on our units. But this is going to be um, a crazy war. We're, we're making some inroads. They've taken a tile, but we've taken about three or four. Our units are definitely more battle-hardened and have a lot of experience. Alright, so they're sinking some of our supply ships. Oh, there's a huge naval engagement here. We traded really quite well. But unfortunately, they sunk a bunch of our HMAS uh, frigates. We're also really lacking steel. And that's because we're, we're trying to construct a bunch of ships, which are quite expensive. We've obviously got Indonesia mostly under our control, so our rubber is secure, and the Saudis are supplying us with fuel. We've gone to 5k losses, and they've lost another 16. 
But so far, we seem to be progressing quite well, and we're going to be able to bring more reinforcements from Darwin. And we're starting to stretch them here in some areas as well. Okay, if we can start to take some of these airfields, this could change the tide in the war, but we're really stretching them. We're inflicting mass casualties on them. And I imagine as well, if we can take some of these air bases, the Taipei should be able to run some drills onto the mainland. Oh god, we're losing a bunch of our newly constructed navy, holy shit. Oh wow, the winter war's back on for some reason. <laughs> Why is that? Okay, we've got to keep an eye on that. That's kind of cool. We are playing with... Alternative... Timelines and focuses, so the, the world's gone a little bit crazy. Slovenia has left the EU. Alright, we've taken about four or five tiles from our territory. And we seem to be stretching them quite effectively. We still need to get this steel back up if we can. Like, we've got the factories to do so. We've got a whopping 220. So we've got a combined Australian-Thai-Indonesian coalition going at it. So that's basically the strength of Australia at the moment. It's been 11 years coming. And we might be able to... Tackle the CCP if we're lucky. Holy shit. Alright, let's uh, get some more divisions over. And get them to the front line quick, quick, fast. Got a bunch of logistics as well. We're going to be able to request some divisions from Thailand. Oh, God. And the navies are trading once again. Uh, let's get... Um, I think we leave the Spratleys. We don't need to focus on them. Okay, so it's now gone to 14k. But they've gone up to 50k. We're taking a lot of them out. Just because we're so hyper-aggressive advancing. They do have some alliances in the west. Tajikistan and a couple of others. We've got a fresh army that we can send up. <laughs> that guy's portrait's been doubled down the bottom. So maybe we try and get these 17 units to purely focus on the coast. And we'll try and rapidly send them up. We've probably chugged through about 30% uh, of our fuel. We still have about 70. They've landmined the hell out of it. Our convoys are getting hit. Finland's been puppeted. What the fuck? And they've brought back the uh, monarchy house in Finland. What? <laughs> and they've joined uh, CSTO. Okay, we are losing in some areas, but we're still really progressing with minimal casualties. Oh no, some of the convoys got intercepted there, I think. We've really got to keep an eye on that once we're ferrying forces across. Jeremy Corbyn's now the PM. It was um, Boris not too long ago. It's been a little bit back, back and forth in the UK. It's gone to 30k, but now we've nearly hit 100k for them. But we're doing well. We're nearly about to secure that southern island. The ties have lost a K. I wonder if naval invasions will start going on the coast. We could set some of our own, but we're, we're just really dividing and conquering them. We're about to surround another bunch there. Nice. Get improved drone, drones if we want. We still don't have the air supremacy over here. Just because they have superior fighter quality. But I haven't really decided what I want to do with the country. As our navy gets engaged again here. In the strait. I could puppet it, but that might be quite uh, a little bit weird. I could partition the country. Divide it between our allies. I haven't decided just yet. Okay, so... We're starting to create... There's another... F winter war going on. What the hell? I thought they were puppeted. Well, I guess they've declared their independence somewhat. 
We are distracting their fleet, though. Although we're taking losses. Like, what else am I going to do with the navy? Like, I don't need to navally invade anyone. They're putting a bunch of mines in and around, though. So we could maybe hold off a bit if we want. Regroup. But we seem... I, I think just keeping up the pressure is a good idea. Alright, we need to make sure this southern uh, position doesn't flank us. Uh, they don't seem to be navally invading into Thailand, which could be an issue. Come on. Japan wants to invest still. Good. I could use your navy or some military forces, to be honest. I had a hope that they were moving away from pacifism. Oh, it's nearly shot up to 200k losses for them. Now we're at about 60, but that's okay. Oh god, we're already attacking them. Of course we're going to condemn this practice. Interesting. Like, we're already actively in a war with them. <laughs> Why does it matter to condemn them internationally? We're down to about a 40% of our total fuel. I did build enough silos that we could have about 8 million liters, I think it was, of petroleum. Mostly from the Saudis. Okay, so come on, we just need to push into this small little island here. Which they might withdraw from. Because they've mined it quite effectively. Russia's, uh, Finland's capitul capitulated again. <laughs> oh, nice. HK's now fallen. And we've actually got... Because we're controlling this territory, we've gobbled up through... Uh, like, 2 million manpower. Which is kind of insane. We're still advancing slowly but surely, but... We are losing quite a bit. But we just seem to be absolutely forcing our way through it. And we seem to be getting fresh units ever so often as well. We're struggling in some areas, but we're taking a lot of ground in others. I just think we're losing less than them. Well, we seem to be pushing around the flank here. Oh, nice. We might even get another encirclement here. We've had a couple lucky encirclements. Okay, yeah, let's get the 2015 Org variant. Like, why not? Oh, here we go. We're about to surround three divisions. Alright, now it's ballooned to 100k lost. It's just this last level hurrah. We are really flanking him on that left-hand side there. Alright, we've got some more reinforcements that have arrived, thankfully. Yeah. Oh, we seem to somehow have gotten a bunch of fuel. What was that? Maybe we captured some of their silos, potentially? I don't know. We were looking a little bit worse for wear. We still don't have air supremacy in the south. If we chuck more in, will that help? Because once we get air supremacy in some of these regions, it should really rapidly increase the advance. I just think we're outnumbering them slightly. So they've got 74. Yeah, yeah, look at this. We outnumber them. We've taken out enough. Because we actually outnumbered them per division. Like, they've probably got larger divisions. Like, more men. More logistics. So if we keep this up, we might actually be able to stretch that front line enough. So that there's going to be at least one unit missing on a tile. Because we've managed to capture a fair few. It's actually getting worse. We actually outnumber them per division. But I bet our weight is a lot lower than ours. Like, their, our weight of a division is a lot lower to theirs. It's probably quite cumbersome. Maybe we're more mobile as well. But so far, if it keeps on going as it is, we should be able to capitulate them within a year or so. Nice. There's a really nice spearhead push here. We're flanking quite hard on the left. We're about to surround a bunch. But yeah, look at this. This huge push in the center. There's no one there defending them. And if we keep up with sending 
our infantry that are being recruited and trained and sent from Darwin. We find, oh my god, that's a mega push there. Japan's getting involved. Hang on, how does that work out? Okay. No, they're not directly in it. That pop-up was slightly deceiving. But anyway... Dude, we're literally about to divide the country. What the hell? Estonia, Finland, Sweden, Iceland, Denmark were puppeted. What? How? Oh my god. How have they joined that? Oh, they've gone full monarchy. The House of Bernadotte. Okay. Yeah. NATO's influence has fallen. There's a bunch of factions in Europe. Kind of crazy. All right. Let's uh, get everyone over. And then we've got another bunch of divisions. Strange, that. Five million manpower now. And we're still not even on uh, draft or conscription. We're actually on volunteer. <laughs> Come on, Australia. Come on, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> oh, God. Our Navy's trashed. We've got another ace pilot. Okay. And now they're targeting my convoys. Which were really slow. Our ship production it even looks like they striked the island of Java. Maybe hitting some... ...production facilities. But we're about to surround another bunch here. Um, and I'll try and get this division to push into the north. But we are looking very, very good at the moment. We've made some massive progress and massive inroads into the country. Nearly 400k for them. We've lost a significant amount, but let's be honest, not all of them would be Australian pop. As, yeah, you would imagine probably only like 25% is actually Australian in our available manpower. The other 75 is probably members of this Southeast Asian coalition helping out. But we're doing well. Let's uh, keep it up. Dude, our navy is uh, absolutely shot to shit. Okay, can we get any more forces? Any two? I don't know why, but they're really struggling to produce units. Thailand's been giving us way more. Not entirely sure why. Alright. Still constantly sending divisions over. But we're nearly about to divide the country in two between east and west. And they are definitely about 60% towards capitulation. And we finally have air supremacy in the south. Mostly because we've captured their air bases. So if we send our units up, do we we might have been able to capture some of their air force potentially. Hang on. If we can get air supremacy over the entire country, this could change the war. Come on. Alright, let's try this now. Alright. In the Himalayas, we seem to have it. Oh, even on the coast. And we're contesting it in the north. Yeah, so maybe their air force has been incredibly depleted. Hang on. Hopefully, now that I've recalibrated that, that's enough. Yeah, we're literally just outnumbering them. 190 divisions. It's actually kind of insane. We're just stretching them. Nice. I didn't even edit my uh, templates in this. <laughs> I didn't even bother in the end. It doesn't even matter. They seem to be working really effectively. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, some people like to role play or make their own divisions. But so far, both for the Germany 
the US and the Australian campaign, the default division templates have actually been not bad. It's not like they haven't been competitive. Look, you can min-max everything to some extent in these games. I'm just so curious, what equipment are these guys using? Like the special forces? Oh, they're using the orgs. Okay. Um, we've nearly completed the national... Focus Sweden's triggered Article 50, okay. So we've divided the country in two now. Got a bunch of dockyards at our disposal. No, I don't want to sign a non-aggression pact with them. Oh my god, half a million. We're at 250k. Alright, try and push north. Particularly if there's no units stopping you. Definitely do it. Estonia as well. Finland. Yeah, it's because they've gone full-blown monarchy. Alright, let's uh, push towards the capital. Nice. Eighty percent or so to capitulation. Yeah, we've got him. I can't see us losing from this position now. We just need to take the main victory points, and we've got him. The ties have lost ten k. Nice, let's advance here. Oh my god. The border gore is uh, off the charts. They still, they still seem to be deploying some down in the south here, but we just need to try and gobble up as many of these. Even if they do get cut off and surrounded. We'll take that risk, because we're so, so close to winning this. We only have to defeat them as well. Most of the west is fully under control, but it's mostly desert over there. There's not overly... ...too many... ...victory points available. Come on. Uh, they seem to be taking a couple back. Dude, that's like 96% towards capitulation. Come on. But we've been maintaining our fuel, which is fantastic. What really slowed things down in that Indo Indonesian invasion was our fuel supply. So it's definitely worth stockpiling that before you have a, a full-blown incursion into a major faction. But I think they sort of were in a couple wars, so they were kind of weakened to some extent, slightly. And luckily we had a full-on land bridge from Thailand. If we had to navally invade, it would have been a completely different story. But thankfully we united the south. And basically had all of the supplies to ourselves. We could easily run it from Indonesia to Thailand. Alright, so a lot of their units are surrounded here and just fighting to the bitter end. Come on. Oh, they retook their capital. Well, we should make an effort to retake it because that's probably what's holding them out. Hang on, just, just to grab everyone to haul to it. Come on, focus on it. Come on, come on. If their capital falls, that should be it. How yeah, are we doing over here? Fine. We just need to retake their capital. Improved uniforms. Nice. <laughs> Nearly January 2012. Still not 
old enough for the draft yet. Me personally. Come on. If not, we just have to focus on more of their units. Alright, maybe we need some more reinforcements. Oh my god, we got a bunch! <laughs> Let's get them over. Mustn't be too much longer, surely. I could have deleted all of these front lines. Maybe a bit earlier, but... Oh god, we're so close. It's just gone a bit mental, hasn't it? Oh my god. Divisions are isolated off the charts. Oh yeah, so we took the, we retook their capital, but now they got a new one. Oh, come on, maybe we take their secondary one that's pivoted to... Oh god, they're so, so close. Come on. They've been cut off there. Nice. Oh my god, we did it. And it's lagging. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to have to have a bit of a think of what exactly I want to do. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give all the political power to myself, and I think we divide up the country. I think we liberate any states within. So... No, I think we satellite, not liberate, because we want to directly control them. So let's satellite these two for... Oh, no, we don't want to... Mm, we could do that, actually. Yeah, let's satellite these three countries within and make them their own state. Nice. And then what I'll do is I'll increase... Thailand's territory in the south. So you can have that southern jungle territory under their direct control. Like this. How much more can we give before it looks weird? No. Probably just that. We'll start off with that to see. Okay, cool. That looks okay. Then we'll give the center to our Indonesian allies. Nice. And then I take the rest for myself, maybe. Depends what it looks like. So hang on. We could give that... Oh, who do we give that to, though? No, maybe we give it to Thailand. Looks alright. And then I take the north, the entirety of the north, I think. Just depends how much... Like, I want to try and make it even, look even as possible. Like that. I do want to try and increase their capacity, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to. Like, that might be all I can give them without it looking too whack. And, yeah, I take the rest here on the mainland. And then probably the islands as well. It's not like we need this direct control, but we might as well take it. Why not? Bring back the three kingdom period here. And then I just take the rest of the states directly under control. Nice! We've divided the country in three... Oh my god. A little bit border gore wise. But five states now rule this vast amount of territory. Oh god. Alright. Gotta keep an eye on the unrest and stuff as well. But we've... Uh, rewarded our allies, no hard feelings to them after <laughs> taking part of their country, they managed to get a little bit more and I would say officially we've managed to secure <laughs> and protect Australia from any foreign interference with this ring of steel island chains together and oh yes we can create a faction finally it's because we've finished the tree I keep on calling it the tech tree because I play Total War a lot. The national focus. Okay, so uh, let's do so. Let's create a faction. So, um, we could call it... 
I was thinking like because we are the Australian Defence Force. I'm thinking like South East Defence Force. No. The Oceania Defence Force. That'd be kind of cool. But we've kind of got Indonesia and Thailand helping us out. So maybe we call it the, but we won't add the the, South East Asian Defence Force. Nothing like calling a once aggressive, conquering faction a defense pact, a defense force. Defense. Is that going to be enough to fit it all in? Force. I think that's what we want. Nice. Let's do that. A faction has been created. Oh, perfect. Yeah, because we've nearly completed the tree. Like, nearly. I think that's what it did. Because we didn't have national... Stability. Oh, God, it's green. That's annoying. I wish I could change the color. Can I change the color somehow? Oh, it's just because it blends in with uh, CSTO. But we've created our huge faction to the south. Well, the only other territory in our sphere of influence that we could go into and incorporate into the faction is Korea, Japan, India... But we're basically at a stage where we can go out and, and conquer um, anyone else if we want. Can we invite anyone else to the faction? Here, that'd be cool if we could. They're not exactly in Southeast Asia, but all right. The Southeast Asian Defense Force, nice. All right. Anything else we can do here? No. I think we're good. NATO still doing shocking. Peninsula Swords doing all right. Kind of crazy what's happened here. And then there's a full monarchy route going in CST. Oh my god. Same with Denmark as well. There's like three faction packs that have happened there. Really interesting, actually. Nice. Well, I think that's... Uh... Oh, hang on. We can invite someone. Oh, Bhutan. <laughs> oh, so there was a faction we could invite. Just them. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> They're like so tiny and close here. Oh, that's hilarious. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode 5. January 2012, 12 years in the, fu in the future. We've sort of hit our objectives for this series. Definitely down to do more episodes, but it's up to you guys in the comments. Would you like me to go against India, Japan, potentially... Or are we too strong for it to really be a challenge now that we've taken out the biggest major power in our neck of the woods, let's say. Maybe I should move on to something else because it's always fun to build up and conquer other factions. Like, we don't want to go with a full world conquest. I think it's kind of unrealistic. I think we had a good goal here in our South Pacific sphere of influence and we've dominated it. Maybe we're better off playing as something like Japan or Turkey or something. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know if you'd like to see more, potentially in episode 6. Haven't decided just yet. I'll check your guys' feedback and suggestions uh, in the comments. But lastly, I've got to say a massive thank you to this month's YouTube channel members. Massive thank you to Divine Overhand, Mikey, Eric, Chuckles the Hut, Green, Nero1, Dimitri, H, and Hector Bay. Really appreciate those guys. So if you haven't already, like and subbed, would really appreciate it. My name has been Simsy. Stay tuned for more Hearts of Iron 4 content on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.